Today we're going to test and review the Antennas Direct Element UHF High VHF TV antenna. The Element is more of a traditional design of antenna and is a bit of a departure for Antennas Direct, who is mainly known for their clear streamline of TV antennas. This antenna is fully assembled out of the box. All you have to do is unfold the elements, lock them in place, and it's ready to go up on a mast. And that took all of about a minute to unfold those elements. And this antenna is ready to go. The total length of the boom is 44 inches. And at its widest point, the elements are 36 inches wide, which truly really makes it a small to medium directional antenna that is best suited for high VHF and UHF TV reception. So the overall build quality seems very sturdy. All of the elements are a thick aluminum bar as opposed to being a aluminum round tubing. And the boom and the elements are all riveted tight together. Down here on the back end is the integrated mast clamp. All of the machining seems pretty nice. There's not too many sharp edges on these elements so overall a pretty sturdy build to this antenna now even though this antenna has a pretty sturdy build it's very light one thing i'm not totally sold on is the location of this integrated 75 ohm coaxial connector it seems like it's in a strange place right here at the back of the antenna sort of out of the norm but on the other hand this might be good because it's pretty much a straight run down the mast and that means that your coaxial cable won't have too many bends in it. This antenna design is known as a log periodic design. And the big giveaway here are these elements that alternate along the boom as opposed to being directly opposed to each other like you'd see in a Yagi design antenna. And the purpose of this style of antenna is to receive signals across a wide bandwidth. So these smaller front elements here are designed for receiving UHF stations which have much shorter wavelengths and the longer back elements here are designed for receiving VHF stations which use much longer wavelengths for broadcasting. And given the overall size of this antenna it's best suited for receiving channels on the UHF band from 14 through 36 and on the high VHF band, channel seven through 13. Putting this antenna on a mast is nice and easy. There are wing nuts on the mast clamp, which makes for a tool-free installation. All right, I've got it mounted on the mast here. It's 17 feet in the air, pointed in the direction of my local broadcast towers. Now we'll go inside and check the signal strength. Over-the-air TV reception in my TV market is unusual to say the least. I only get three over-the-air stations and all of them broadcast on the VHF band. Two of them broadcast on the low VHF band, RF channels 2 and 4, and RF channel 9 broadcasts on the high VHF band. And this antenna was only able to receive RF channel 4 and 9, did not pick up channel 2 at all. The reception of RF channel 4 was marginal at best with a signal strength hovering in the low 40s. Now the picture was generally stable, there was a little bit of pixelation. The only thing that I could say is good about this is that the signal strength barely moved at all. It's only fluctuating by a couple of percent. So I think that this antenna, even though it's not really designed to pick up low VHF TV stations such as this one, it does have the ability to hold a signal pretty well. There's not a lot of fluctuation here. And RF channel 9 is where this antenna really shined. The signal strength was solid right in the low 80s. And you can see that the signal meter is barely moving, only fluctuating by 1% or 2%. So this antenna is designed for high VHF and UHF TV stations and seems to do a very good job of not only receiving those but holding that signal well and this is a good thing because this antenna i think is one that you can trust to keep the signal even if there are changing weather or atmospheric conditions this antenna is going to be able to hold on to those signals on channel 7 through 36. it's hard to fault this antenna for not picking up tv stations that it's not designed to pick up
It was not able to pick up RF channel 2 on the bottom of the low VHF band. However, it did pick up channel 4, albeit with a lower signal strength, and it did an excellent job picking up RF channel 9 on the high VHF band, which is right in its wheelhouse. This log periodic antenna design seems very good at picking up channels within its prescribed bandwidth, for example, channel 7 through 36 in this case, but picking up channels that are outside of that prescribed bandwidth, such as channels two and four on the low VHF band, it does not do a good job with those. And I think that is by design, this antenna is good at picking up stations within its wheelhouse, but also has very good rejection characteristics of channels that are outside of its prescribed bandwidth. And I say this because earlier in the summer, I tested another log periodic design by Sky Blue, their black arrow antenna, and it had very similar results. Poor reception on RF channels two and four on the low VHF band, but excellent reception of RF channel nine on the high VHF band, right in its wheelhouse. The Element antenna from Antennas Direct would be an excellent all-around TV antenna for most reception situations, given the fact that this antenna is designed for high VHF and UHF TV stations, from channel 7 through 36. That is where most broadcast stations are in most TV markets. Now, some markets do have channels on low VHF from two to six. And if you have a channel like that in your area you want to receive, your best bet would be to find a properly sized Yagi antenna with really long elements.